गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रेन वेलकम बैक इन द एस एस टी क्लास ऑफ सिक्स स्टैंडर्ड टेक आउट योर बुक ऑफ हिस्ट्री एंड सिविक्स इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी स्टार्टेड रीडिंग ऑफ द लेसन नंबर वन ऑफ सिविक्स द नेम ऑफ द लेसन इज रूरल लोकल सेल्फ गवर्नमेंट एंड द पेज नंबर इज वन हंड्रेड एंड फाइव सो चिल्ड्रेन नाउ आई एम शोइंग यू द पिक्चर ऑफ द टॉपिक्स विच वी ऑलरेडी रेड इन द प्रीवियस क्लासेस so the topics are introduction rural local government gram panchayat or the panchayat gram sabha its composition and functions gram panchayat its composition functions and sources of income so children before proceeding further i would like to ask some questions number 1 question is give definition of gram panchayat number 2 what do you mean by the term ward number 3 which commission conducts the election of the gram panchayat number 4 who is responsible for calling the meeting of the gram sabha and the gram panchayat number 5 explain any four functions of the gram panchayat number 6 what are the sources of income of the gram panchayat so children I hope you all are able to answer the following questions. Now children have a look on the topics which we will have to read in today's class. And the topics are link between a gram sabha and a gram panchayat, difference between a gram sabha and a gram panchayat and the nyay panchayat. And children at the end of the today's class you will be able to know about similarities between a gram sabha and a gram panchayat difference between a gram sabha and a gram panchayat and you will be able to know about the judiciary system of panchayati raj system that is known as nyay panchayat so children before start reading of the further lesson i would like to show you the important terms related to the today's topics and the first term is watershed an area that separates waters flowing to different rivers number second term is nyay panchayat the nyay panchayat is a judicial wing of the panchayati raj system at village level now children let's start the reading of the lesson open the page number 108 link between a gram sabha and a gram panchayat so children first of all look at this picture you will see the gram panchayat which is the first tier of the panchayati raj system the gram panchayat is further divided into three parts number 1 part is gram sabha number 2 part is gram panchayat and number 3 part is nyay panchayat so children in the previous classes we read about the first two parts of the gram panchayat that is gram sabha and gram panchayat Now we are going to read about the similarities and difference between the first two parts of the gram panchayat that are gram sabha and the gram panchayat now children let's start reading link between a gram sabha and a gram panchayat the following are the links between a gram sabha and a gram panchayat number 1 the gram sabha elects the members of the gram panchayat it means the members of the gram panchayat are the representatives of the gram sabha number second point is the gram panchayat is responsible to the gram sabha it means the gram panchayat is answerable to the people of the village that is known as gram sabha number third point is in the gram sabha all working plans of the gram panchayat are placed before the people so children it means gram panchayat has to put its plans before the gram sabha before implement it the fourth point is the gram sabha prevents the panchayat from doing wrong things so children we read this point in the functions of the gram sabha also that it is the duty of the gram sabha to prevent the panchayat from doing wrong things like uh, corruption misuse of money etc fifth point is the gram panchayat has a secretary who is also the secretary of the gram sabha so children we read this point earlier that the state government appoints a secretary of the gram sabha who is also the secretary of the gram panchayat and what is the duty of the secretary of the gram sabha and gram panchayat 
to calling the meeting of the gram sabha and the gram panchayat so children these are the similarities between a gram sabha and a gram panchayat now children let's start reading difference between a gram sabha and a gram panchayat the differences between a gram sabha and a gram panchayat are as follows number 1 the gram sabha acts as a legislative body whereas the gram panchayat is an executive body at the village level so children here legislative body means law making body and executive body means which carries out the laws so children gram panchayat follows the laws made by the gram sabha second point is all the adult members of the panchayat form the gram sabha while elected representatives of the gram sabha form the gram panchayat so children who are the members of the gram sabha all the adult members of the village are the members of the gram sabha and who are the members of the gram panchayat the elected representatives of the gram sabha the third point is the gram sabha takes decisions and the gram panchayat implements them so children gram sabha acts as a legislative body and the gram panchayat acts as an executive body number fourth point is the minimum requirement of age for the membership of the gram sabha is 18 years while a member of the gram panchayat should not be less than 21 years of age so children the members of the gram sabha should not be less than 18 years of age or the members of the gram panchayat should not be less than 21 years of age number fifth point is the gram sabha reviews the work of the gram panchayat number sixth point is the gram sabha can pass a vote of no confidence against inefficient members of the gram panchayat so children we read this point earlier in the functions of the gram sabha that the gram sabha can pass a vote of no confidence against any member of the gram panchayat if it is dissatisfied with work of that member so children these are the difference between a gram sabha and a gram panchayat now children let's read the box of do you know of this lesson at page 109 The Gram Panchayat also implements plans for water conservation. Conservation means to save water. So the Gram Panchayat implements plans to save water. So children, here I am going to discuss a plan of the Gram Panchayat to save the water. That is watershed development. So children, what do you mean by watershed? We read it in the important terms. watershed means an area that separates waters flowing to different rivers let's read further watershed development is a way of conserving water and recharging or refilling it in a high land area now children let's read the benefits of the watershed development watershed development benefits an area in the following ways number 1 There is a shift towards the cultivation of commercial crops such as pulses, groundnut, cotton, onion and horticultural crops in the watershed areas. So children, shift is a technique of cultivation that preserves soil fertility by field rotation and the commercial crops are those crops which are cultivated for the purpose of sale like pulses, groundnut, cotton, onion horticultural crops in the watershed areas horticulture means art of garden cultivation the second point is the area under cultivation increases so the another benefit of the watershed development is the area under cultivation increases number third point is there is reduction in the migration status so children here the term migration means move from one place to another so there is reduction in the migration status number fourth point is there is improvement in the livestock status because the fodder production increases in the area so the livestock means domesticated animals and fodder production means crops that are cultivated for animal feed so children 
due to the watershed development there is improvement in the status of the animals because the feed production increases in that area for the animals number 5th point is there is an increase in the rural non farm activities in the area so children the non farm activities are those activities which are not related to the agriculture example manufacturing transporting communication etc number 6th point is the income of the land owning families in the area increases so children land owning families are those families who have their own land so children due to the watershed development there is an increase in the income of the land owning families seventh point is there is more employment generation so children due to the watershed development there is an increase in the employment employment means work number 8th point is it has a direct positive impact on the economic independence of rural women children we read in the earlier points that there is an increase in the non farm activities and more employment generation so that is why women gets more opportunities and become economically more independent so children these are the benefits of the watershed development Now children we are going to read the third part of the gram panchayat that is nyay panchayat The nyay panchayat is a judicial wing of the panchayati raj system at village level So the judicial wing means court of the village So court of the village is known as nyay panchayat The term of service of the nyay panchayat is also of 5 years its members are elected in the same way as the members of the gram panchayat so children it means the members of the nyay panchayat are also elected by the gram sabha the nyay panchayat hears and decides minor civil and criminal cases here the civil cases means the disputes regarding land animals and property etc and the criminal cases means theft violence etc it can fine and punish the guilty within certain limits but it cannot send a person to jail it means the nyay panchayat can give only minor punishments to the criminals the main purpose of the nyay panchayat is to provide speedy justice at minimum expenses so what is the main purpose of the nyay panchayat to provide fast justice at less expenses so children your today's class is over now i hope you understood today's topics and your homework is to reread the lesson and revise the important terms related to the today's topics